The Regimental Museum of the Royal Welsh Fusiliers was opened in the Queen's Tower of Carnarvon Castle in 1960. It tells the story of the Royal Welsh Fusiliers throughout its very long history, starting in 1689 and its unbroken service until the present day. There is a tableau which particularly one will notice as a stranger, soldiers wearing five black ribbons on their collars. Those five black ribbons are unique to the Royal Welsh Fusiliers. They are a relic of the days when the soldiers wore pigtails and when they were abolished, the regiment was serving abroad and they were probably the last to wear the pigtail. And when they came back to this country in 1834, they were inspected and the general inspecting them said that these superfluous ribbons must come off. But the colonel of the day got his carriage out and drove from Winchester to London and came back in triumph bearing a letter which stated that King William IV was pleased to order that the ribbons should be retained as a peculiarity to mark the dress of that distinguished regiment. Another custom and tradition and peculiarity of this regiment, and it is the only regiment which marches with a goat at its head, followed by the ceremonial pioneers. How long the regiment has had a goat, nobody knows. In 1772, it is quoted as being an ancient custom that the regiment marches with a goat with gilded horns at its head. It was present at the Battle of Bunker Hill during the American Revolution in 1775. It probably was originally a goat which one of the soldiers brought with him when the regiment was first formed in 1689 and they went over to Ireland to fight in the Battle of the Boyne. He is never referred to as a mascot. He is indeed part of the regiment. The museum is set out in the correct chronological order. Probably the most interesting thing and the most valuable thing are the diaries of Robert Mackenzie. He was the adjutant at Boston when the shooting started in the American Revolution. In fact, you'll see the diary is open at the very page where the regiments, the British regiments, march out to Lexington and Concord to destroy the stores which had been collected by the rebellious colonials. Though the museum is a military museum, we do try to simply tell the story of the Royal Welsh Fusiliers. And one must remember who it is that makes a regiment. It is the men of the regiment. And the museum tries to tell the sort of human stories. Everything must have an attachment with the regiment. And surely, in almost 300 years of history, unbroken history, there's quite a lot to see.